the year was 1963 when the national bird of india was chosen and announced to the public it was none other than the peacock but the bird which lost to peacock in the final race was great indian bustard do you know the present condition of this amazing bird to know about it watch this video fully see the great indian bustard is one of the heaviest flying birds these birds are endemic to the indian subcontinent they are primarily terrestrial birds generally the males are taller and heavier than female birds also note that it is one of the rarest birds in the world most of the population are located in india very few birds are in pakistan in india the largest number of around 150 is found in thar desert in rajasthan which nearly accounts for 95 percentage of the global great indian bustard population few birds are also sighted in gujarat maharashtra andhra pradesh and karnataka now coming to the habitat of the birds the species usually inhabits open habitats like in short grasslands open shrub and rain fed agriculture fields see the great indian bustard is a crucial indicator when comes to grassland ecosystems now let's see about their breeding pattern great indian bustards breed in selected grasslands during the mating periods the male display themselves to attract females see the males have a gular pouch when they wish to attract females they inflate the pouch it helps them to produce a resonant booming mating call to attract females the sound of the mating call can be heard up to a distance of 500 meters an image of the great indian bustard with its inflated gular pouch is given below for your reference see how elegant the bird looks this is all about the breeding pattern now coming to the reasons for the declining number of great indian bustards first reason is the habitat loss then comes the poaching of the birds Yeah great indian bustards are susceptible to poaching after that there is a predation of nests by foxes and feral dogs then finally comes the issue of power line collisions see these birds are prone to collision with power lines this is because of their poor frontal vision and their inability to see power lines from a distance due to their larger size it becomes difficult for them to maneuver or to shift trajectory quickly after seeing the power lines many a time there is a huge impact with these lines and even if there is no electrocution the birds die because of the impact of collision sometimes they die also because of electrocution the habitats of great indian bustard have a high density of transmission lines because of the potential for renewable energy production in rajasthan and gujarat finally before ending our discussion Let's see a few facts about this bird. This species is known for its very slow reproductive rate. It lays only one egg for one or two years, and the success rate of these eggs under ideal condition itself is around only 60 percentage to 70 percentage. Because of such very low reproductive rate and specific habitat requirements, the species is found to be highly vulnerable. If you can remember in August this year there was a news in the Hindu newspaper about great indian bustard the news was about captive breeding program in the desert national park since it was a rare occurrence it was reported in the newspaper now finally let's see about the conservation status great indian bustard is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN in india it is placed under the schedule 1 of wildlife protection act 1972 and finally it is placed in the appendix 1 of sites This is all with respect to Great Indian Bustard. Through this discussion, we have seen about the Great Indian Bustard, its habitat, and why the population of Great Indian Bustard is not increasing. To know more about animals which are facing habitat loss, kindly subscribe to Shankaraiyas Academy's YouTube channel.